Hello dear children. Welcome to our online lecture. I am your teacher Alifia Alamdar from Prabhat Kids School, Akola. Today in our online lecture, we are going to learn about a poem. So let's begin our journey. Today we are going to learn about a poem. Looking at the picture, can you guess the title of the poem? Yes, the title of the poem is A Dream. And it is written by Gulam Mustafa Tabassum. Before moving with the further explanation, I have few questions for you all. Did you all remember this? Although we hail from different lands, we learned this song last year. Yes, it's the peace song. I hope you all remember this peace song and the objective behind it. The theme for our fun day for the session 2019-20 was peace to bliss. The idea behind this theme was to promote peace and bring happiness to everyone. We human beings need to understand that this world is one and in order to save humanity, peace need to be established. Thus, the theme of our poem, our dream is also peace and harmony. Let us know more about the poet. Ghulam Mustafa Tabassum was a noted 20th century poet in three languages, Urdu, Punjabi and Persian. Tabassum was the pen name by which he was universally known. Tabassum was born in Amritsar, Punjab to parents of Kashmiri ancestry. He earned a master's degree in Persian from Foreman Christian College in Lahore. He remained with Government College Lahore for his entire career rising to head the Department of Persian Study. He is best known for his many poems written for children as the creator of the Tad Batod character and as a translator of many poetical works from Urdu and Persian into Punjabi. Tabassum's style is in the classical tradition informed by a deep awareness of the pain and suffering that afflicts modern life. For 50 years, he was a prominent speaker on radio and television. So this is our poem, A Dream. Let us have the model reading of this poem through a short video. A dream. I say, open your hearts like a new flower. Let the hatred in us flow away like a stream. Let justice be set in your hearts like a stone standing straight and firm. I have a dream that one day people all around the world shall eat from the plate of peace and say together, We shall stay so always. One day a tree will grow high and strong in the garden of justice and live forever. Now let us have the summary of the poem. In this poem, the poet is asking us to open our heart and help all people. The hatred that we feel should flow away and justice should be firm in our hearts. He says that he has a dream that one day all the people in this world live in harmony and cooperate with each other. He wishes that this situation shall prevail forever and we shall live in peace. In this beautiful poem, the poet has used various figures of speech. Let us know more about the literary device used in this poem. Simile. A simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as. For example, as sweet as pie. Colorful like crayons. Can you find the lines from the poem in which the poet has used simile? There are three lines in the poem. Like a new flower. Flow away like a stream. Like a stone standing straight and firm. The poet has also used metaphor. A metaphor 
is a comparison in which one thing is said to be another. For example, she is a walking dictionary. In this poem, the poet has used metaphor in the line, one day a tree will grow high and strong in the garden of justice. Here, the poet has compared justice with a strong and high tree. Poem, the poet has also used an example of elegion, plate of peace. Here, the poet is making an indirect reference to the act of eating from the same plate in some communities, which symbolizes harmony in relationship. Many a times, we also ask our friends to eat from the same plate because we feel that this will help us build the bond stronger. Now let us see a short video about simile and metaphor and try to understand these figures of speech. I hope you all have enjoyed watching the video through this online lecture. You might have understood similes and metaphors very well. So thank you all for watching this lecture. See you all in our next period. Till that time, stay home, stay safe. Take care of yourself as well as your family. Thank you.